Water signs, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be channeling some messages for you today using the Light Seer's Tarot. We also have a few Oracle decks with me as well. Let's see what the energies are for you. Make sure you come in, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow. Add more readings onto the channel. So let's see, can I have messages for the water signs, please? Messages for the water sign. We have jumpers. We have the hermit energy. Let's see what else we're getting. All right. So for my water signs today, it carry, carries Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We got the Ten of Wands. So you're on some type of journey here. Going through a lot physically. Not sure if you're in some type of, um, you're in your gym mode right now. You're working out more. But you're definitely on some type of journey. Could be trying to release burdens or drop excess weight here. We do have the Hermit Energy, uh, which is Virgo Major Arcana. They are very focused on their, their health and very self-conscious about weight. Similar to the Taurus as well. Taurus is always trying to figure out their weight, overeating and whatnot. So let's see uh, more uh, messages for the Water Signs. Five of Swords. This is confusion, mental confusion. We also have Six of Cups. This is uh, an emotional victory. We have Five of Pentacles. Financial displacement here. Okay, why? Wow, so much wind. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Let's get a little bit more comfortable here. Should have did a little bit more pre shuffling. The wind blowing everything over here. We have the Six of Swords. Trying to leave out of this negative thought process that you're having here. We have Ace of Swords, Moths and whatnot. We have the Empress card. We have the Tower for the Water Signs. Final message, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So channeling messages from the divine here for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have, again, grounding your reading, Ten of Wands. This could be working out, trying to shed weight, release burdens, physical hardships. We have Major Arcana, the Hermit. Virgo energy, paying close attention to your details or your health. Trying to come out of a negative situation. Maybe someone has said something or uh, triggered some type of mental instability or some type of um, introspection. <laughs> to put it in a nice way. Uh, could be someone that you're attracted to. My spiritual flirtation card, someone wanting to come into you or uh, come into you or come to you with some type of um This has to deal with em emotional acceptance. Now it seems like this is coming from within. So someone's coming toward you or you're wanting to come toward someone with some type of um emotional attachment, but there's a lack of reciprocation here. We have displacement here. This could be a change up in your home or your finances or some type of move here. But again, this could be a change up in your health. It could be watching your weight or trying to change your weight here. The Knight of Swords delivers harsh words or harsh criticism. Sometimes people don't like the truth. I use, um, usually I say the Knight of Wands comes in with harsh truths or harsh criticism, but it's really actually someone with, a, um, with, an, with an assured message that they're trying to deliver. And for the most part, people don't like to listen to the truth. 
So again, this could be some type of truth about your weight, some type of truth about your finances, your mental or emotional health. Or this could be something that you're relaying to someone else. Six of Wands, overcoming this situation, overcoming mental um, frustrations, traveling away from uh, people that no longer serve you or ideals that no longer serve you. Again, maybe you're changing up your eating habits or creating some type of new um, meal plan or eating plan. This is taking notes or documenting, experiencing something new trying out something new some type of a new gym regimen some type of a new eating pattern you could even be trying out new foods as well you're trying to get over this uh mental frustration here again someone triggers something um in you mentally here we're getting the empress card more um earth energy we get here with the taurus and libra so trying to uh, develop yourself, trying to maintain an emperor status or go into your emperor status. This is the high priestess. I'm sorry, not the high priestess. This is, um, what is this? This is the divine feminine. We got Mr. Blondie here with the blonde hair. You walked, walked out of the park and now all of a sudden you're running towards me here. <laughs> People are weird. We have the tower card here. Which again, could be some type of destruction to your mental or destruction to your emotional state of mind here. Yep. <laughs> As he walked out of the park five minutes ago and now he's speedily running towards me in this direction. Although we have so many other different directions to go to. Someone's coming towards you or walking towards you. Again, some type or some message here. Some It's a message in regards to not necessarily planting seeds or some type of journey of um, emotions or emotions journey of uh, finances here which we'll be getting with the knight of pentacles but this is more of like again health it could be jogging or walking mm. hmm. i'm getting circumference which again is your weight that's your waistline wearing a belt court cards here we have the knight of swords knight of pentacles so two knights here Delivering a harsh message of criticism to a water sign regarding health matters. We're getting five of swords and five of pinnacles. Again, a message in regards to um, your mental space, your physical space. Could be some type of change up or some type of... Um, mm, Maybe you're getting advice here. This is pretty much conflicts and difficulties here. Someone's um, bringing to your attention again health matters. We're getting six of cups, six of swords. We also get the hermit card. Could have been some type of a close connection or a close relationship you wanted to have someone but they're wanting you to upgrade yourself or they're wanting to they're wanting you to better yourself the empress could be dealing with some type of high value individual here that has certain standards um, that they're not willing to budge on here but that's the message that I'm getting for you here major arcana the hermit the empress the tower as well getting emotional displacement here I'm not sure if you're wanting to work with someone um, financially or if you're wanting to work with someone um, emotionally like a relationship or a business but this is what I'm getting there's requirements that has to be met first let's see what the Oracle messages are and then you run out of the park Hopefully this isn't like some type of home. Not that I really even have, again, no interpretation about it, but it's like, you look like you should belong in Atlanta. So hopefully you are running towards in my direction. And he, after he ran around the park in my direction, now he's run off somewhere. I want to run in this guy's direction just to see if he's gay. <laughs> see if I can get his attention or what he's doing over there. Moonology, 
You're very close to achieving your goal here, Gibbous Moon. We have emotions are running high here, super moon. Could be in some high emotional state of mind here. Again, um, depending on the, the attention that you're looking for here, water signs, pretty much the, emo the most emotional signs out of the zodiac. You, someone may have triggered emotional instability for you here. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. And these are other people's thoughts. These are other people's actions and other people's standards. Now, there are certain qualifications that you have to have in order to, um, let's say, start a business or go into a new company, even to lease out a car or apartment. You have to have a certain credit score about yourself. So there is certain actions and certain things you have to take, certain guidelines that you have to follow if you want to take on new endeavors. But make sure that um, you're not letting other people uh, misjudge you. Like again, I have no problem with homosex homosexuality or gay people. I have gay people in my family. I've even had gay friends <laughs> in my life. So it's like they bring a different perspective of the things that's going on around you. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you have uh, someone that's triggering, again, this this, this, this seems like it was uh, some type of message in regards to love or something, love acceptance, wanting to garner someone's attention or someone wanting to grab your attention. But it's like um, not necessarily that they're out of your peripheral, they just don't meet up to your standards. You're not equally yoked here. Again, you have to work out, you have to go to the gym and things like that. You have to develop yourself mentally and financially in order to come towards certain people, definitely an empress. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Last romance angel card, we have love yourself first. Didn't I just say that not too long ago? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Even if you don't fit someone's standards, the more that people see that you are not bending to their wills, or um, again, like a woman would say, she wants a man that has all these different things. Again, that's a want. Not what you need. What you need and what you want are two different things. Everyone wants to pig out every day, but what they need to do is get on a proper eating and uh, gym regimen in order to actually pull in the things that they want. So <laughs> that's my advice for you, water signs. Um, apply the reading how it needs to be applied, whether romantically or financially, spiritually. I'm not sure what um, I was getting here for you today. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.